uh, with her to explain why Linda's got what it takes is Daily Star picture editor James Sutherland. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Linda, your, your story's quite sort of romantic, really, because you were at a bus <coughs> stop, weren't you? And someone said that you ought to be a model. Yes, I was coming home from my tax office job, and um, a photographer's wife stopped me, actually. And I ended up doing some pictures, and then I went to a model agency and never looked back, really. It's eight years ago now. So you, you're, what, 16-ish? 16, 17? Yes, about 16, 17. Yeah. And, uh, I work out right. <laughs> and do you feel, at that, although that gave you the, the in, was that, a, in fact, a bit of a mistake at the time? Because of the pictures it themselves was, ones you um, regret, aren't they? Yes, I do regret them. Um, and if any young girls are listening today um, and thinking of getting into modelling, don't do any nude pictures. Because mm -hmm. if you do become a successful model, then you'll only regret them. And if you don't, you'll regret them, and they'll always haunt you. And they sort of get resurrected. They do, yes. Time. Well, anyway, you, you did make uh, a great success of it, but what was it like? I've asked this to every one of the girls I've spoken to this week. What was it like that first time you did have to strip off? Um, Nerve-wracking, obviously, but once you realise that the photographer's really unaffected by the fact you've got no clothes on, um, you kind of relax. It's just like mm. the first day on the beach on holiday, really. You know, you're sort of a bit scared at the beginning, but then when you realise sort of everyone's got their clothes off, you just um, relax and enjoy it. Would it help if the photographer was naked as well? No, I don't think so. It'd be distracting, <laughs> to be honest. It would keep a smile on your face, so wouldn't it? Um, but <laughs> what was parental reaction at first? Um, I think they were just worried that I was getting into something that I, uh, you know, that they were a bit worried about. But when they realised that most of the photographers are above board and that it's just a business like any other job, um, they're happy for me, and of course they're happy for me now. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at some photographs of you um, over the years. Here we go. Ah, oh, bless her. How long ago was that? Oh, Quite God. a few years. <laughs> I think it was about six or seven there. Yes. <coughs> You're very pretty. Oh, that's, you, you grew up fast then. <laughs> <laughs> have we got any more ones of you as a youngster? Uh, I don't think there's any more young ones. Oh, these, these are more glamour ones. Great stuff. James, uh, as the expert from the photographic side, what, what is it that Linda's got that distinguishes her from the others? Oh, she's just a super bright girl. Mm -hmm. Lovely, happy girl. When you say bright, what, what do you mean exactly? Do you mean sparkling and yeah, sparkling? Sparkling, in sparkling, sparkling face. And I mean, look at her face. It bubbles at you. Look at all those pictures. Mm -hmm. You cut off all the rest and left her face there. You still get a super picture. Yes. Presumably, you get an enormous amount of photographs submitted to you that you don't think are suitable. Yes, I do. I get lots and lots of letters from mums sending pictures of their daughters. And we look at them and some girls suit, some don't. But it's, it's, again, they all look terrific in the initial picture. Then you cut it down, you've got to look at the faces and see if they have that sparkle that Linda has. Mm -hmm. How um, important is it to sell newspapers, that the sort of photographs that Linda does and Samantha and so on? Well, it's important to us that, because it gives us lightness and brightness in the paper. Mm -hmm. I don't know what sort of figures of circulation they would relate to, but... Uh, there's a, there's a growing undercurrent this week, and I'm very aware of it, as this is the fifth day of our series of people saying, it's disgusting. <laughs> what well, do you say to that? Well, I don't think it's disgusting. I think they're nice, bright, happy pictures. I think men look at them, women look at them. They're just bright to look at in the morning. Particularly mornings like this morning. Nice, bright, coloured, glamour picture, isn't it? What about you, Linda? What do you think? Do you think, uh, well, I mean, presumably you don't think it's disgusting, but can you understand people who think it's disgusting? I don't, I don't see nowadays how people can think that topless pictures are disgusting. What with all the beaches, I mean, nearly everybody goes topless on holiday now. Um, and I mean, the pictures are, I think they really cheer people up from the letters you get. I mean, there are people that really enjoy looking at page three or page seven. Yes, you don't think they're provocative. I mean, Claire Rainey yesterday was uh, implying that it can inspire people to, to acts of sexual violence because they get sort of whipped up by seeing photographs of people like you with little on. No, I don't think so at all, really. I know Annie has her strong feelings on this, don't you? Well, yeah, I actually don't think Claire put it that strongly. Mm. I didn't think people would be whipped up into sexual violence. She just thought it contributed to an atmosphere where we didn't think that, that much of girls if they were prepared to just sort of fling themselves around like that. But, I mean, all advertising and everything, they've always used girls. There's always been girls in bikinis lying on bonnets of cars. It's centuries old. I mean, you know, all the old paintings were nude. So, I mean, it's not a new thing at all. Mm -hmm. As a picture editor, can I ask you, that, I mean, we're talking about old paintings there. What, uh, if you've got a selection of, of lovely girls who look lovely topless mm -hmm. in front of you, what actually would make you choose one picture rather than another? Is it the, the, the skin tone? Is it the breasts? Is it the eyes, the hair? What, what, what makes the difference? It's a combination, but the basic thing you look, look at 
is the face. Really? The face and the eyes. You can cover the picture up, take pieces of paper, cover it over. <laughs> I'm at, no, no, genuinely. I mean, we're, we're looking at... I'm looking at pictures, not looking at real girls. Do you then actually cover up the, you know, the bits from, and get right down yes, to the basic yes, face? Yes, absolutely that. And then what judges it? What do you want from the face? I want sparkle. I want, I want someone who's sitting there and is bright, bubbly, glamorous, ordinary person, proper person, mm. the, not something plastic that people can relate to, with a nice shine coming out of them, and that real nice bright face, and relax, so not somebody sitting there saying, hey, look at me, I'm topless. Somebody who's just a nice picture. Linda, what, what, what has all your success brought you? It's presumably changed your life quite radically after working in a tax office. It's brought me office. happiness, really. Has it? Yes, because, you know, I have more time and more money and, um, and my life's exciting now, whereas I don't think it would be if I was still working in the tax office. Do you see it as a limited lifespan? No, because I plan to move on to other things, you know, television and films and all sorts, and things are happening for me, so... Hopefully I'll succeed. <laughs> well, you've certainly succeeded so far. Thanks very much for talking thank to us today, Linda, and thank you, James, very much. Has to say, oh, oh we do the best exercises of this week, so if you're ready at home, <laughs> up you get. Ashley, Linda, I cling to this record. I think it's such a bouncy record, this. Well, it's Shake warm up. anyway. Yes. You a bit cold? Feet apart. We're going to stretch up both arms, right up, and then bend at the elbows. Pull in from the tummy as you do it. And bend your elbows out to the side with your arms. Right out. Now, as we go up again, bend your legs on the down and up, two. Out to the side. Right out, up again. And up. And then out to the side. Then lean to your side from the waist. How does that feel all right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Arm over your head. Over to your other side. I'm getting all wrong here, Lizzie. Don't oh, worry, as long as you come the same way as me. Now, all the way down. Bend your legs. Now, push up through the thighs and stretch up. Are you looking forward to the weekend? Down. And the leg exercises we did on Tuesday bring up your knee, hands in front. It's got a bounce, this, isn't it? Knee across your body. Ready out to the side. Oh, you're balancing all right. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Hang on a second. In case you're falling over at home, pull up the legs straight. Up you come. Now try it again. Keep one leg straight as the knee comes up. That's it. Now you're not falling over. No. <laughs> well done. That's something you've learned. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Thanks, Linda. Thank you, Lizzie. <laughs> Come and join us. Thanks a lot, Linda. That's, That's a lovely lid. Thank you, Lizzie. It's a beautiful it's colour, isn't, isn't it? it? It's smashing. Also very good at that. Do you do a lot of keep, <laughs> do a lot of keep fit? I do a little bit of weight training. Not so much sort of with the legs. So. Yes. And what about diet? Do you have to worry about what you're eating? Um, I'm quite lucky, really. I seem to burn it off. <laughs> yeah, eat like a horse and it doesn't affect you. Yeah. Good. We've, had, we've had another phone call from Ipswich agreeing with what I was saying earlier about all our, all our cameramen here say so they love all the other girls, but they love you best. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Chris, are you still doing this phone thing, <coughs> this pet line? Um, I think it's finished now. Is it? For me, I, they've had Miss World and I'm not sure who they got this week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, look, thank you very much for being with us today, Linda, and you, Jeff. Thank you. And Lizzie.